Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. In today's video, we're going to be discussing everything we know so far about the pricing for GTA 6. So today we're going to be discussing everything we know so far about the pricing estimates and features of the standard edition and all the various collectible editions of the game that we are expecting. So if you're somebody that's interested in pre-ordering GTA 6, this video is going to be extremely important. So if you haven't already, make sure you drop a like rating on this video to share your support, as well as subscribe down below for more daily videos just like this. But first off, here is today's shout out of the day, and right out went to the actual video. Now, today's shout out goes to a really awesome website known as Free and Smart. Now, they have some of the best products in all the categories that matter to you, ranging from kitchen items, pet supplies, home gadgets, sports and fitness, and health and beauty. All the products are completely verified and vetted to ensure top quality. Myself personally, I am looking at the 3-in-1 wireless charging station, but definitely click the first link in the description down below to check out their website and see their incredible catalog of products today. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Now, with GTA 6 expected to be revealed later this year, one of the next things that we can look forward to after the initial reveal is pre-orders finally beginning. Now, pre-orders are obviously a major revenue source for any game developer out there, and that means during pre-orders is the best time to get your hands on any limited editions for the game. Now, with GTA 5, Red Dead Redemption 2, and all of their other modern games, Rockstar Games has done a very good job at releasing some super awesome collector's editions of these games, and GTA 6 is likely going to be no different. Now, before we get into the collector's editions, let's talk about the standard edition. Now, the standard edition of the game is likely going to contain a few pre-order bonuses that are all going to be digital, likely having to do with some single-player content as well as possibly some online content as well, and this standard edition of the game is going to be the edition that a majority of people pre-order. Now, when Rockstar released GTA 5 all the way back in 2013, the pre-order price for the standard edition was $60. Now, $60 was big money to spend all the way back in 2013, and it seems like Rockstar is going to set a new record for GTA 6, and that is going to be $70. Now, there are some games that are priced at $70 at the moment, however, the majority are still priced at $60. Now, in my opinion, $70 is still an incredible value, especially for a game like GTA 6, and I think if you were to spend any $70 on a video game, I personally would pick GTA 6 in a heartbeat. After all, you're getting the most amount of content, and of course, you're also getting that quality that you expect from a Rockstar game. Now, beyond the standard edition, Rockstar will also be releasing some special collector's editions of GTA 6. Now, as the name suggests, these of course are for collectors, so people that are big fans of the game and want something physical that they can keep besides just the game. Now, with GTA 5, Rockstar had two separate collector's editions, However, with their recent release of Red Dead Redemption 2 in 2018, Rockstar increased that number to three for three separate collector's editions tiers. Now let's go ahead and talk about the cheaper options and then move our way up. Now, the first collector's edition that is likely going to be available for GTA 6 is what's known as a special edition. Now, the special edition will likely include the game itself, along with at least one physical piece, such as a map, which is what Rockstar has done for Red Dead Redemption 2 and GTA 5, and then in addition, it's also going to come with a good handful of exclusive content, both for single player and online. This edition is likely going to be priced at $90, just to give you an idea of what you can probably expect to pay for something like this. Now, moving our way up to something higher tiered, Rockstar is also likely going to release an Ultimate Edition of GTA 6. Now, the Ultimate Edition is going to likely come with two physical pieces, including what's included with the Special Edition and something even cooler. 
For example, with Red Dead Redemption 2, Rockstar included a really awesome themed steelbook, which allows you to store things securely inside it. In addition, Rockstar is also likely going to include some even more exclusive content both for single player and online. Again, that information of what's included is definitely not known at the moment, but you are going to get even more exclusive content digitally than the special edition. The Ultimate Edition is likely going to cost around 120 US dollars, just to give you an idea of what you're likely going to pay for it. Now moving our way up to the top tier of the collector's editions for GTA 6 that we are expecting, we are also expecting Rockstar to release a top tier which Rockstar refers to as the collector's box. Now, they did one of these for Red Dead Redemption 2, and essentially it is a massive box filled with all the exclusive merchandise for the game. So things like maps, hats, cards, bandanas, and all of that stuff, it's going to be included in one awesome themed box, and of course everything is going to be themed to GTA 6. Now, one interesting thing about the collector's box is that it is likely not going to include the game. So this means that this is strictly a merchandise item and it's not going to include the game. So just keep that in mind and keep an eye out for it if Rockstar does end up going this route. Now, in terms of the price, it is likely going to be the same price as the Ultimate Edition, at least based on what Rockstar has done in the past. Myself, personally, I would probably get the Collector's Box and then just get the Standard Edition of the game on top of that. I think that's probably the best way to go, especially if you're trying to be money conscious, but also a big fan of the GTA series. But I definitely want to hear from all of you in those comments down below. Between the Standard Edition, Special Edition, Collector's Edition, and the Collector's Box, which one do you think you're going to get for GTA 6, and which one do you think offers the best value? Let me know in those comments down below because I really want to hear from you guys. And as always, keep an eye on the Rockstar Games social media, the Rockstar Games Newswire, and of course this YouTube channel for the latest news surrounding GTA 6 and everything beyond. And as a reminder, everything we discussed in today's video is not confirmed at the moment, however, it is based on what Rockstar has done in the past for their most recent titles, including Red Dead Redemption 2 and GTA 5, so it should give us a good idea of what to look forward to. But either way, if you enjoyed today's video and you'd like to stay updated on the latest news surrounding GTA 6 and the GTA series in general, let me know by dropping a like rating on this video, as well as subscribe down below if you haven't already with those notifications on it so it was notified whenever I upload a brand new video. But either way, thank you again so much for tuning in today, I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video just like this. But until then, have an awesome day, I'll be sure to talk to you guys then.